The iPad Air just came out. And the good thing is, you know, the good news about iPads is you don't really need anything to make them work. If you just want to watch videos, you can do all of that from the tablet itself. However, there are some things that you can add to it to change it from being just a content consumption device into something that you could legitimately use to get some work done. So what are some of the best accessories that you can get for the iPad Air? Well, let's find out. Ooh, let's slam this down. And while we're finding out, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So I love, I love gadgets. I love gadgets, I love knickknacks, I love all of this stuff. So these are my absolute favorite videos to make. I love making these, I love when new tech comes out so we can talk about all the little things that we're gonna use to build up around it. So yes, this is the iPad Air 4. I've been using it for a little under a week now, and I've used a lot of these things to make the video that we talked about just a couple of days ago for the video editing, and I've used a lot of these to start working this into like my office setting. So let's start off with that. What do you need to turn this into a monster office productivity device? And the first thing you're really going to need is you're going to need some kind of a stand and some kind of a keyboard because you can't work really well, you know, when you're holding it and you can't really type really well without an actual keyboard. So the cool thing is much like the rest of the iPad line, there are certain keyboard cases that are stands and keyboards built together. And the best part is a lot of these are interchangeable with the iPad Pro. So if you have previously had an iPad Pro 11, all of these same accessories will work between the two devices, which is pretty cool. So we do have a range of keyboard cases from the Magic Keyboard, which is honestly my favorite. We've also got the Smart Folio Keyboard, which if you're looking to spend a little less money and just have a keyboard, this one works pretty well too. You do lose out on the trackpad and the extra charging functionality. And so Logitech has the Folio Touch, which is more of like a case that also has a keyboard on it. And you can use the iPad Air in this because it's basically almost the exact same size as the iPad Pro. The problem though, if you wanna use this as like your case, something you're gonna notice is this, the iPad Air does not have face ID, so you can't look at it to unlock. You have to use the touch ID that's built into the power button. However, if you use the Logitech Smart Folio, you lose out on the touch ID. Now that's not a deal breaker, like you could just input your passcode and then get going. You could absolutely do that if you want to, if you want a little more protection, because this is, like, let's be honest, this is a case, this is gonna keep your iPad very safe if you are a drop prone person. I'm not saying I'm a drop prone person. Okay, I am saying I'm a drop prone person. I drop stuff all the time, even though I don't necessarily use this, because part of the reason that I would consider using this over my iPad Pro is that Touch ID. So if I'm gonna lose out on Touch ID, but you could if you really wanted to. And that's the point that I'm trying to make. If you are looking to really get the best and most like convenient feature, the Magic Keyboard is really good. The problem though with the iPad Air is the Magic Keyboard is pretty expensive. It's like 300 bucks. I mean, that's expensive whether you buy this for the iPad Pro or the iPad Air. But when you talk about the iPad Air at a $600 entry level price point, that's half the cost. And so, I mean, I still really like it. I like that you can still get the extra charging port. I like that it's got the trackpad here. This is what I would use, but I already have one. Would I buy this if I was buying the iPad Air for the first time? If I needed the best, yes, but you can get a lot of the same functionality without spending nearly this much money. You can get a lot of the same without spending nearly this much money. What you could do, and this is something we talked about with the iPad Generation 8, but I've been so impressed with this. Um, this is just a simple stand from a company called Nulaxi. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of these kind of things that you could find on Amazon. But basically what this is, is it's just like a little stand for the iPad, but it gives you all sorts of way where you can get it up, get it angled in a way that you could actually use it for work if you wanted to. And then what you can do is you can buy a Bluetooth keyboard. You don't have to get this specific Microsoft Bluetooth keyboard. I bought a Bluetooth keyboard to make with this video, but it got lost in Amazon delivery heck. We don't curse here, family friendly channel. Um, but it got lost in the delivery somewhere. So who knows if it's ever gonna get here. But this one or something similar to this, you can find these very cheaply on Amazon too for like 10, 15 bucks. I'll leave some in the description below. But you can use this pair it via Bluetooth to your iPad because the iPad Air gets all of that insane functionality with mice and keyboard. We'll talk about the mouse in a second. And this gives you a full keyboard. Like you don't have to then make do with like a small keyboard from like a smart folio or anything like that. You just, you get a full keyboard and you can get some serious work and it will cost you a fraction of the amount of the Magic Keyboard. And check this, see I told you I dropped stuff. And check this out, like this thing, 
I love this stand because it folds up into nothing. I used to have a big problem when I have like one of those big like fully metal stands that don't move. I used to use that for like my MacBook and my iPad, but you can't travel with that. You can travel with this. I love this. This thing, had, I've been taking this with me everywhere when I'm working outside of the house now. Even if I'm going into my office and I need like my work computer, but I also have my iPad that runs everything else at the same time, I have this to hold the iPad. Also, like I said, if we're trying to go after like the magic keyboard type functionality or if even like a laptop replacement or productivity type of experience, look, we've got the computer set up, we've got the keyboard, and then my absolute favorite travel mouse, I wish I had purchased this thing so much sooner. I've now used this in several different states, traveling all over for work. This is the Logitech Pebble, the M350. Yeah, it's a Bluetooth or wireless mouse. You can do both with it, but this thing is tiny. It's super small, fits in pockets. It still has a pretty satisfying click. It's got a scroll wheel. It doesn't have a lot of customizable buttons, but it's built really well. But the small size combined with the small size of the iPad just makes it fantastic. Makes it fantastic getting a Bluetooth keyboard and this mouse, mm, chef's kiss amazingness from the iPad. So this is a very small, very compact way of getting some of the same functionality of the Magic Keyboard while spending far, far less money. And it might be a little bit better you know, if you like actually having a full keyboard instead of having a small travel keyboard. You don't, this one is, it's kind of comically big, but you can get much smaller ones and they're not this big of a pain in the butt. So we've talked about typing, which is very important to me. We've talked about how to use the iPad in more of a workflow or professional setting. One of the problems that you're gonna run into with the iPad is, we got one USB-C port and one USB-C port, while well, it's great, if you're charging it, that's it, you can't, transfer any files to it. You can't transfer anything off of it. You can't use any of your other accessories. You can't plug it into a monitor or anything like that. And for that, you're gonna need some dongles. So my two favorite dongles as of right now, you've seen this one before. This is the Falwetti. I swear I bought this for like 10 or 15 bucks, but it's got SD card, micro SD card, three USB-A. It's got an HDMI. And this thing, one of the problems I've had with dongles in the past is they get really hot if you've got them plugged into a lot of stuff at once. And while this thing gets warm, I haven't had a problem with this yet. And I do use this one quite a lot. The next one I got is from another company. This one's called Stucci, but I've seen this model in a few different ways. And I really like this because check this out. You can have this dongle, but it just fits onto the iPad itself. So when you plug it in, it's kind of like the iPad has all of this IO built into it. And then when you have it on something like a stand, it's more of like an actual laptop. Check this out. So now I don't have something hanging off the iPad. I get all of that functionality, USB-A, HDMI, another USB-C, headphone jack, SD card, micro SD card, all of it's plugged into right here and check it out. That's like even more of a laptop replacement. How cool is that? I love just how neat, again, I love gadgets, right? I love little gadgets. And this is the coolest, littlest gadget. Problem's gonna be though, if you want one of those keyboard cases, it's not gonna work because see this, it has to fit on there. Like it only fits right on the iPad itself. So you can't use this with a case, unfortunately. But it is nice that it also has little cutouts for the speaker. So you don't lose out, you don't get muffled sound from it. I like this thing. I wish there was a version of this that also fit around the cases. Mm. Now I gotta, now I personally have to decide, do I want the cool dongle or do I want the cool case? They're both, you gotta have a dongle. If you're gonna use an iPad for anything more than just watching internet videos, you gotta have a dongle. These are two very good ones. Another thing you're gonna need if you're using an iPad for anything, is you're gonna need additional battery. This is a new battery that I just picked up. This is an Anker 10,000 milliamp hour battery because I found that the 20,000 milliamp hour battery I had was a little too, like I never used that much power. I only ever used about 10,000 and it was just big. I like smaller batteries. And what I like about this is that you can have power delivery through USB-C or USB-A. It does show you the charge amount right here. You can see that right there. I don't like that it has it in those little dots. So there's a very big difference between being at 50% power and 25% power, but you gotta give up something. This was also dirt cheap. And it's always, you always have to have some kind of just like an emergency battery with you and 10,000 milliamps is about the lowest I would go with that. So this Anker battery has been fantastic and I absolutely recommend it. But you also gotta charge it and that battery at some point, right? So this is actually 
One of the coolest things that I got, this is a RAV power, just like 65 watt charger, but also has USB-A and USB-C. And I like this. So what I don't like about Apple's included chargers, they always have the prongs sticking out. I like being able to have something that just fits better in my bag. And it fits better in your bag when you can fold up the prongs and plus 65 watts of power is way more than you get with Apple's actually like their own power delivery. So this one has been great. It easily fits in a bag, which we'll talk about here in a second. And yeah, you need it to charge your battery, you need it to charge, you need to charge your battery, you need to charge your iPad, you can do both at the same time, right here. Ugh. Caught it. We've talked about the Steel Series controller that I've used with other, you could still do that here. Um, but I didn't bring it out because, I don't know, the iPad Air is not something that I don't really play games on iPads very often, though they are very good for gaming, and you can always buy a Bluetooth controller for that. The next accessory that I want to talk about, though, is if you are going to use this for production, the biggest weakness, in my opinion, of the iPad Air is the storage options. You'll only get 64 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes. That's it. That's not a lot of storage. Not a lot of storage. Even that 256 gigabyte, if you're like some kind of a working professional and you do a lot of digital video or photo creation, that's not gonna last very long. So you are gonna need an external hard drive of some kind. And I really like, you don't have to get one this expensive, but this is the Samsung T7. This is incredibly fast. This is a one terabyte drive that also, I mean, it's as thin as the, well, it's a little thicker. Okay, I fibbed. It's a little thicker than the iPad Air, but it's almost as thin and it has way more storage and you'll actually be able to get usable space with one terabyte. One terabyte, if you're in any kind of creation medium, is the minimum. Again, you can get an older version of this or you can get another brand, but you really gotta get a solid state drive. You wanna take most advantage of what you can actually get because the processor in here is powerful. It's got great thermals. The storage options are just terrible. And then if you are that creator, you do a lot of drawing, you do a lot of graphic design, gotta get the Apple Pencil. I never, the cool thing about the iPad Air is it uses the Apple Pencil from the iPad Pro version. So it's the one that just magnetically sticks on top. It charges by being just stuck on top of the iPad, which is pretty cool. I mean, I never use it because I'm not much of a drawer, but it's just nice to have it, right? It's nice to have it. And then it works really well in thumbnails, right? But for some people, and if you're a drawer, if you're an artist out there, this is a lifesaver. I've seen people create amazing things with this pencil. And then because you got to put it all in something, you got to have some kind of like tech bag. I love my favorite, the thing that I like most out of all of these gadgets is the tech bag itself. Like the, the bags, I have a soft spot for backpacks and just cool. I have so many like tech bags in my office over here, but this is one that I've actually really enjoyed. We had the native union one, but I figured you guys were probably sick of always seeing that one. And it doesn't have the most amount of space. So if you do have a substantial amount of accessories, I really like this bag smart option because the thing that you really got to look for in tech bags or any bags, any textile product is the zippers. The zippers are the most important part of a bag. And these zippers are fantastic. Listen to that. They're not YKK zippers. YKK zippers are the standard when it comes to zippers, but these are really well constructed. It's got, it doesn't have double stitching, which is what I would prefer if I was buying something to be more rugged. It's got single stitching, but you'll see the stitching here is all pretty good, especially for the budget price that you pay for it. You can fit lots of cables and stuff in these little straps. You can fit a mouse, you can fit your phone, you can fit your solid state drive, your dongle, everything can go in this bag. And it's got another little pouch for smaller things. It's got a little SD card holder right here because let me tell you, somebody that travels with SD cards, you will lose SD cards all of the time. But it's built really well. It's not waterproof. It's not even that water resistant. You can see there's not a water resistant taper to these teeth of the zipper, but it'll survive getting a little wet. It'll keep all your stuff organized and together. And I mean, there you go. Just these two together, you throw it in a backpack, you are ready to go. I would also recommend buying a screen protector. Again, much like the keyboard, my screen protector is not here yet. It's lost in the delivery system. Thank you. I'm, it's not like I wanted a screen protector. I do, I always have a screen protector. Now there are various versions out there. You can get like a matte screen protector that makes it more like paper. I don't really like those as much. I like the glass versions. That's what I have on my iPad Pro. I buy this because I like the screen. I just don't want the screen to get scratched up so much. So I buy something that's very similar to the screen to put on it to protect it. But those are all my favorite accessories for the iPad Air. I love having all of these little gadgets. I love having them. They're so much fun. In fact, why don't you, in the comments below, let me know your favorite gadgets or your favorite accessories for your iPads. I'm always looking to buy more accessories for the iPad. I'm telling you, my wife. She's like, why do we have five more Amazon boxes here? It's like, no, it's not more iPad accessories. It's probably more iPad accessories. Thanks to today's sponsor, Squarespace, you can create your own very beautiful website. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a professional website 
online store, or portfolio. It's easy to claim a domain slash URL, create a custom site that matches your style, and bring your ideas to life. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash everydaydad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks for watching.